The Stag product line is on display here. We have a family of gimbals um, ranging from a four pound, five pound, and an eight pound. Uh, so our, our niche, if you will, in this market is a very modular, uh, size, weight, power optimized gimbal for typically for small tactical UAV applications. They all have DRS camera cores in them. So DRS is a market leader in the camera core business. And then we have a laser designator line of uh, gimbals, which is also market leading, uh, particularly in the, the smaller form factor. So having a five inch gimbal that has a laser target designator is uh, pretty groundbreaking. The name of the game with these UAVs is endurance and standoff range from target. So if we can give them a capability to see their target from further away then and uh, at a pound lighter, then now they can fly that mission longer and they can also stand off at, at a safe range. The STAG design was originally designed as a highly modular capability, the intention being to be able to easily swap out payloads, so without having to redesign the gimbal. It was designed for the common launch tube, uh, very high G-force, uh, launch effects, big program uh, of record for the Army. The, um, that modular design means that when whether we want to put a long wave camera, mid wave camera, short wave camera, we are only redesigning the ball, the payload ball that's inside that gimbal. Uh, we're not redesigning the whole gimbal. We've delivered a number of STAG uh, 5 with laser target designators into the UK Ministry of Defense. They're going to be flying those on a uh, platform called the Thor UAV, and it's intended to be a, a multi payload configuration where the, uh, the UAV can fly cargo, it can fly comms relay, ISR, or ISR targeting, and that's where we come in with the, the ISR and targeting with the laser designator. The U.S. Army is purchasing a few of the uh, PDW C-100 multi-rotors uh, with our laser designator payload on them. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, to, to, to get those flying with our, with our own U.S. forces here. PDW was selected as part of the uh, U.S. Army's uh, MRR program, Mid-Range Reconnaissance. Uh, so we are one of the payloads that are, that are in the mix for that program as well. We have a new gimbal being released shortly. It's the uh, STAG-4L. It's uh, EO and HD long wave. This is developed in collaboration with the uh, RTI directorate. Uh, U.S. Army C-5 ISR. Uh, its primary mission is uh, countermine, ground countermine, so um, flying from a uh, tethered, tethered platform, tethered to a ground vehicle, uh, and it's intended to clear obstacles and, and support the troops in, in contact uh, doing some of those breaching activities. Uh, so we'll be delivering the first ones of those uh, any day now, and then they'll be getting flight tested over the next couple months. Uh, and then we'll be looking at, you know, what's next for the warfighter, what next capability do they need in that form factor.